Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk to you about the mic rig. The mic rig is a product that's currently on Kickstarter from a company called Seven Oak and this product is trying to answer two things that most videographers face whenever they're outdoors. A product that can help you stabilize your footage when you're outside and also give you really good audio outside without having to bring in an external recorder on top of the fact that you have to carry your camera. So if you've ever tried to take video outside and you've had challenges in making it work Keep watching here. Let me know what you guys think at the end of the video. Other than that, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up at the bottom as it shows the support. This is TK. Let's check it out. This is the box for the mic rig. It's made by a company called Seven Oak, as I mentioned. Uh, again, it's the mic rig stereo. There are stereo microphones built in on the top. And as you can see here, we have an entire DSLR connected and mic'd up with the external audio. And as you know, my DSLRs in general don't have great audio. Um, what we do have here is the uh, Boya stabilization, so the anti-shake feature. And I'll explain to you a little bit what this means. Uh, it's intended really more to be around the handle and the way you handle this, as you no longer have to fumble with DSLR and the external mic and all of this. It gives you much better handling, and with practice, you can definitely get very nice. And again, it's intended to be a one-stop solution for both video and sound recording with a really good system. Again, the mic rig is right there. Here's the content of the box. As I mentioned to you, here's the mobile device uh, carrier. You'll be able to basically screw it in, screw it on, and we'll be able to test this out with our device, and it does have a level built into it. They also do include a GoPro adapter options, a GoPro cable with three and a half millimeter headphone jack on top, uh, we have a smartphone uh, con connector cable that has a three prong connector. So this is for audio and uh, sound and microphone. So we'll be able to get the audio directly. So it'll use a microphone plug-in for it. And of course we have the stereo one that goes directly into the mic rig. We have, we have 9.1 millimeter condenser mics on the sides here that we're gonna be able to connect from here. And I'll show you guys in a second. Looking at the mic rig itself, we're, you notice right out of the box, there's two legs with uh, soft pads on here so that you, don't, you have the ability to have good stabilization on it. They're soft so they don't create any additional noise. We do have a nice little screw option that we can actually thread to whatever side. So if our device has a, the threaded option is all the way on the bottom right here, you can go all the way well, of course, you can go all the way to the back. If it's running a DSLR, you're probably going to go all the way to this level. Or you can go all the way to the front if you're running, a, let's say, a GoPro or something, a smaller device that you can connect. Uh, on the other side, you'll notice the thread is right there and you'll be able to just screw it in. Uh, you'll be using this if you want to use the uh, mobile device connector. Let's go ahead and focus real quick on the microphones. This is the Seven Oak branding on the top. We have the 9.1 millimeter condenser mics on both sides, right and left. And of course, it'll get really good chant audio in the front. So as long as you're facing the system, you're gonna get really good audio. And as you face backwards, you're gonna get less of a, less of a reception. It doesn't mean it's gonna go dead, but you're definitely gonna be able to use it. Last but not least, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a preview, at least of what these information is. We have an LED light for on and off. So if you power it on, you can power it on here. Um, also, last thing I wanna to mention to you guys, it is powered by one AA battery. It's right there. So you'll be able to just power it in, plug it in, and you're good. Uh, you have an on and off switch, and we also have a plus 10 dB option. So in case your audio is really low, you can bump it up by 10 dB. And then we have a clip, uh, a low clip filter. So you basically, if you have a lot of background low level noises that you wanna clip out, you'll be able to turn it on and it's otherwise you can turn it off. And then we have a cold shoe mount that you'll be able to use any kind of option, either connect an external light, external recorder. If you have a mic system, the receiver, uh, you can use to use one of these threaded options, connect it, stabilize it, and then you'll be able to mount anything you want. I went ahead and took my V20, took it out of the case, mostly just so I can make sure that the plug goes in all the way. Um, I have my microphone connected, I'm gonna turn it on. Also, what I'm gonna be able to do here is, if I wanna organize the cable, I can run it a little bit behind here as it doesn't actually protrude or take over the camera. Uh, and the main benefit, of course, is the ability to be able to get access to the camera entirely without having to miss anything. So you notice my hand is right there. The V20 has a very nice feature. You can actually go into manual mode and in the manual mode, we'll be able to select out of one of the two microphones. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select, click microphone. And then in, in the actual option, you can see here there's two. There's the internal microphones, which has a really nice setup. And you can go to the plugged in microphone. And at this point, it's actually recording directly using that microphone. Hopefully I'm actually centered in this picture. I can't see myself, obviously. This is intended to be on the other side. The audio you're hearing from me is specifically from the mic rig, so it's not coming directly from my lab mic anymore. I wanna see how the audio sounds like, how the performance is. Um, does it sound better? Does it sound worse? I'm also gonna stop the video now. I'm gonna start it up again, and I wanna see how the audio 
the first from when I start using the microphones that are built in to the V20. I went ahead and switched over to the built-in microphones that are on the V20. Again, keep in mind the V20 is a device that's intended to have really good audio built into it. It actually can focus on the subject in front of the camera and reduce the audio or the microphones on the background. I hope the example with the V20 was a good example for you guys to see how the audio can actually improve. It wasn't bad to start with, but the ability to go better. And this is the type of audio quality that you're going to be getting whenever you connect it. Let's say if you connect it with your iPhone, which I did test, uh, you do need to use uh, the adapter if you're using the new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, but any of the previous generation of the iPhone will work just fine. As the third pin on that plug uh, with a three and a half millimeter headphone jack essentially is the microphone is what your device is going to use. Uh, that's one of the main benefit here. When I did try to test it out using my uh, Yi Action Cam 4K here, I don't have an audio in, which is the other thing you want to keep in mind. So I'm going to rely on the audio directly on my V20. And what the setup that I have here is, let's say I'm trying to do a shoot where I'm outdoors, I'm at an event, and I want to be able to be in the video, which means I can actually point this camera to me, take the video of myself, insert myself in a small square at the bottom left of the screen, and then show the main camera's footage directly from the V20 or whatever camera I'm using. And at that point, this is something you can't do with a normal camera without holding it and making sure. And at this point is both point of views are at the same point. So it never changes. You change your hand, you twist it over, you go upside down, the point of view stays the same. You need to practice with the pan and shoot for, uh, shots there. But the benefit is the fact that everything is mounted. You can even replace this and put like your own um, mic up uh, system, your lav mic, anything you want to do to be able to get that really good audio that you want and then connect it directly into the unit itself and then just right there, go. But again, really nice setup. So let's go ahead and take it outside and see how this looks. So the first test that we're going to try to do is using the mic rig itself um, and the built-in microphone and connecting it to the iPhone 7 Plus. I'm already using the adapter, obviously, since we don't have a headphone jack. I'm going to try to do similar movements uh, using the device. Again, I'm using my hands and we're moving. So hopefully you guys could see that and see how the quality of, the, you know, just the movement on this. Again, I'm using both hands to be able to stabilize the camera here, where with the mic rig, I'm only using one. And I also have the ability to use that additional microphone. Both sounded pretty good. I have to say that when I was using it mid-body, meaning if I was just panning the hand on my device, I found that it gave me kind of similar video as far as the quality of the video, as we do have some stabilization on this mobile device. Now, this had been a, a GoPro or something like that, the video would have been slightly different. But the main benefit, again, is that you're getting a good experience there. Where the mic rig shines is when I started to go to a lower angle, which is something that would normally have you holding the device very, very low. And it's just very hard to do with a mobile device, let's say a smartphone or even a GoPro, and keeping your hand very steady. This is where the system will definitely uh, shine and definitely work much better for you. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I'm going to give you guys a link in the description to the Kickstarter campaign from uh, Seven Oak. And again, this is the mic rig. Um, it's currently running on Kickstarter, ending very soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely a much better improvement over just using your device. And it's actually a really affordable in the sense of what you can do with this. Now, they do have some other options out there for getting, let's say, a lav mic setup, a monitor, or even a, a light setup on top that you can buy with the actual mic rig. So keep an eye and check it out at the campaign. Thank you very much for 7 Oak for sending me this unit for review. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.